What is going on team? Welcome to the first news video of 2022. Now yeah, you're probably saying, Craig, you've already done a news video in 2022, that was breaking news. This is more of the sarcastic, you know, we're letting you into the lives of the athletes and just showing you what they've been up to over the last couple of weeks. Festive period and new year. Starting this year off with a pizza, can only go downhill. And a half new office setup. Obviously you've seen this wall. Now we just gotta figure out what to do with this wall team. If you have any suggestions or ideas, do let me know. Before we get into today's news video, I just want to let you guys know that 321 Podium, my supplement sponsor, founded by Matt Fraser and the Buttery Bros, is having its one and done sale. So it's only having one sale this year and it's running now until the 12th. 30% off site wide. And then if you use the code TEAM, you get an extra 20% on top and it supports Jazz and I. And you get the best tasting and the sickest supplements in the game. You know, it's a win, win, win. Win win. Now to start off today's video, I'm just gonna quickly talk around the Dave Castro situation a little bit more. After the news broke yesterday, I saw on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere, a lot of hate towards Eric Rosa. Obviously it's a very emotional time. A lot of people are very emotionally invested in Dave Castro and what he's done for the sport. But I feel like after running multiple businesses myself, you know, just wait and see what happens. You know, don't get too heated. Don't go and hate on someone. Believe it or not, Eric Rosa has CrossFit at heart and he's doing what he thinks is best for the sport and for it to grow in the future. I can guarantee you that. Obviously he owns affiliate. He's been part of CrossFit for a while and he's passionate about the sport like he really is after meeting him at the CrossFit Games. He wants this to grow. He wants it to grow for the affiliates. He wants it to grow for the athletes. He wants it to grow for the games. Just give him a chance. Stop the hate, all right? 2022, no negative vibes, all right? Also, if the sport grows, he gets more money. Win, 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 you know, so. Here comes the money. All righty. <laughs> First off, let's talk around Christmas. Kind of feels like ages ago, but also there was a few special things that the athletes did on the day. First up, Sam Briggs, obviously competed in Dubai, did super well, the engine from England, she really, on Christmas Day, tested her engine. A lot of people have Christmas traditions, maybe you should add this to the list. Sam Briggs, on Christmas Day, cycled 5,000 calories. Hold up. 5,000 calories. Wait a minute. To raise money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. She did it with the crew at Cornerstone Fitness. You know, some people midway through were too sore to sit on the seat, and this is how they cycled. She had a load of puppies there and outfits, and she did it in intervals and completed it in a total time of six hours, 23 minutes, and 11 seconds. What a legend. Now, Josh Bridges is known for diving in the cold tub. He's known for having his, you know, his little freezer that he just fills with water and gets in. Cold water therapy, amazing for the body. Yeah, well, there we go. Well over Christmas, he was at the Glacier National Park. He said he was missing his cold tub, so what he did was took a dip in the toasty warm Lake McDonald. Breathe, baby, breathe, breathe. Get that hat out of here. Woo! 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 Now at first glance he looked naked, but he's not, I can guarantee you that. But uh, yeah, it looks cold. I think I'd do that, but just it would take a little bit of g up. Probably not voluntarily. You know, I'd need someone like Josh to be like, come on, we're going in, and I'd be like, all right then. Jacob Hepner. Although he's retired from CrossFit, we're still gonna talk about him on this vlog because he's, he's just a good dude. And over Christmas, he made me super jealous. He went to Finland with his partner, Kelly, to stay in a glass igloo. Come to Finland, they say. Mush! It'll be fun, they say. <laughs> Push our bag up this hill. Man, and you thought you wouldn't get a workout in. It's just like a regular old sled push. They got to see the northern lights. They went dog sledding. Hey, make sure you put your blinker on up here, though. My blinker? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Balto don't need no blinker. <laughs> And it just looked like an overall good time. Hey, what are you doing? Walking down the black diamond that you drug me up. <laughs> That's not that steep. Oh, okay. I can't even see the drop off right there. <laughs> <laughs> On the way back, they stopped off in Paris and he did some, um, well, kind of sightseeing, but also influencer spotting. <laughs> Here I am, uh, being a part of the trend. Uh, Down a little lower. Oh, wild. Part four. The guy dancing made me laugh. 
Check this out. Influencers in the wild, part five. Dude, he's TikToking. He's so much better dancer than me. I want to be just like him when I grow up. Laura Horvath, after winning the Dubai Fitness Championships, then went on a snowboarding holiday. Looks like she knows how to handle a snowboard. And I did not know this about the home of the current champ, Justin Medeiros, where he's from, Boise, Idaho. They at New Year, for the fireworks display, do a big fireworks display out of a giant flying potato. Next up on today's video, some news around the Russian athlete, Roman Krennikov. Just before Christmas, he won the Dubai Fitness Championships and he did it so convincingly. Over the years that he's made it to the CrossFit Games, he's never actually got to go due to visa issues, but his agent, Snorri Baron, talked recently about them actually expecting this year to possibly get him to the games. They're very confident. Okay, the endless story of Roman's visa. Uh, I'm not gonna go into those details. It's been reported elsewhere and it takes a long time to explain, but it's on the US side. Uh, it's an immigration thing. On the US side, he hasn't been able to obtain visa clearance yet. There are new things in motion right now. There are people over in the United States who are actively helping him out. There's a plan in process, uh, things have been submitted, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, there's cause for some increased optimism. Hopefully, it will work out this year. Uh, I'm always optimistic. I know he'll uh, compete at the Games one day or another, hopefully now in 2022. I really hope he makes it, because his showing at the Dubai Fitness Championships, before he used to be an engine, like a great dude around capacity, but his strength always lacked. Whereas what we saw at the Dubai Fitness Championships is that he brought an all-round package of strength and endurance and mindset. And I would just love to see him up against the best in the world at the CrossFit Games because I feel like he'd get a podium. So let's hope 2022 is that year. In other news, we need to talk about 16-year-old Sophie Shaft. She's a three times teen CrossFit Games athlete. She's 16 years old, currently the fifth fittest teen on earth and the other day she tested her back squat. This is just mind blowing, all right? She hit a true 1RM back squat at 340 pounds. That's basically 155 kilos. 16 years old. She also, in this past couple of weeks, she's obviously going through a testing phase, hit a 200 pound snatch. Or for us over here in the UK, that's a 91 kilo snatch. That's impressive in, it's just, I feel like the next 10 years of CrossFit, some of these teens coming through, we are gonna see records being broken and some things that we think are impossible now actually become possible. It's exciting. Now talk about making the impossible possible. Matt Fraser, you know, he's, he's the GOAT. He's, you know, and it, some workouts you'd put in front of him, he'd just destroy and you'd be like, how did he do that? He's not just destroyed the fitness game. He's released his book recently. Here it is. This is one I made earlier. I feel like I'm on art attack. Us people here in the UK love it. It's gone straight to number one selling book in the UK on Amazon. Whoopah. And then in some major news actually around Matt Fraser, recently he announced that he is now coaching Mallory O'Brien. She's joined his Hard Work Pays Off training program, the seventh fittest on earth 2021, rookie of the year, eighth at Rogue, and is only 18 years old. She's now under the watchful eye of five times fittest on earth. I feel like there's some major things to come. In a quote he gave to the Morning Chalk Up, he said, I told her as long as she gives her full effort, I'll give her my full effort, and that's what we'll do. Let's see what 2022 brings. And then speaking of workouts, I actually saw this workout on Klokov's Instagram, Dmitry Klokov. And I had to share it because it's one of the craziest workouts I think I've ever seen. 300 calorie ski erg, nine power cleans at 315, nine bar muscle ups. 
into 300 calorie ski erg, six power cleans at 315, six bar muscle ups. And yep, you guessed it, 300 calorie ski erg into three power cleans at 315, three bar muscle ups. That is some, cha <laughs> that is some chaos programming. Strange workout to put it. And then over the festive period, we had some amazing relationship news. The first bit is that Sean Sweeney and his partner Emily are expecting a baby. You know Sean from this channel, you've seen him a lot, and he's just, he's a good dude. And I'm super happy for him. So congratulations from me and all of the team. And two, Bethany Shadburn got engaged. And in the post, she said she was happily engaged to the man of her dreams. You love to see it. Speaking of Bethany, she will be competing at Waterpalooza and actually speaking to her coach, Justin Kotler, at the Dubai Fitness Championships. He says that she is one to really look out for in this competition and he's expecting some fireworks. So maybe we'll see her on the podium. And then Fikowski over the festive period posted a photo of the most glamorous mustache I think I've ever seen. What a mustache. That is one, that is one lip slug. And then to finish off today, we had one more athlete announced their retirement from competitive CrossFit, Lucas Esslinger. The athlete that had competed at the games in 2016, 17, 18, 19, and 20, took to Instagram to say, I am happy to announce that I've officially retired from professional sport. I'm proud to say that I do this on my own terms. Beside the sport, I've put a lot of effort into my school and I'm happy that of last July, all of the work outside has paid off. I managed to start a career in a field that I'm genuinely passionate about. He finished it off with saying, I hope I managed to inspire some of you along the way too. Guy was a legend, you know, when I first started making the videos, he was one of the first athletes to actually reach out and be like, hey dude, love what you're doing. Um, keep it up and it will always stick with me. And team, that's where we're gonna end the first news video of 2022. Honestly, I hope it's an amazing year for all of you. If no one has told you today, team, you're an absolute legend. And Shop Hustle made for the sickest clothes in the game. These are coming soon. I know, I know a lot of you guys have been asking. Next up, Waterpalooza. We'll be doing a video before that, and then we'll actually be behind the scenes at the competition, so stay tuned for those vlogs. And yeah, team, keep fighting. Because you never know who you're inspiring. It's a fact. Oh, we'll catch you in the next one.